they're cute, cuddly, and even a little bit cheeky. They hop, slither, glide, and swim. So what do all of these colorful creatures have in common? They're all on the Gold Coast. And so am I. During my day at SeaWorld, I got to meet Florida, a Californian sea lion. And while she may look shy, she's just one of the star performers here at SeaWorld's Fish Detective Show. A show about much more than just tricks and flips. Yeah, we try to have a, um, a strong message um, going through the show, and in the seal show at the moment, that theme is overfishing, which is one of the things affecting a lot of the species of seal throughout the world. Uh, so we sort of try to encourage people to use sustainably fish products uh, where they can. Continuing my theme of under the sea, I soon found myself in Fingal Head, hopping on board with the water sports guru and cruising out to Cook Island to go snorkeling with turtles. This is one of the very few places in Australia that you're almost guaranteed to see not just one, but many turtles. And we even spotted sharks and starfish too. Out of the water and onto dry land, Dreamworld was next on my list. A place much more than just the big night drill rides. There's also tigers. While there, why not enjoy the VIP Tiger Cub experience like me? Not too many places around the world that you can do this, so Dreamworld certainly has that unique ability to offer experiences like this. But if you prefer to take a morning stroll around the park with a tiger and its handler, well, there's that option too. Whatever experience you choose is a step towards helping Dreamworld's fundraising and conservation efforts. Yeah, we, we support the Dreamworld Wildlife Foundation, or DWF, uh, and that's the money that goes to DWF goes to supporting wild tiger conservation. So that's mostly in places like Sumatra and Far Eastern Russia, where we've been supporting groups that are trying to save tigers in the wild now for many, many years. My next stop was Kurumban Wildlife Sanctuary, where I arrived just in time to buy lunch for these lorikeets. <laughs> now you're told never to smile at a crocodile, but there's an exception to every rule. Seeing so there's no similar rules when it comes to cuddling a koala, I'm going to go right ahead and do just that. Before hopping on the train and finding my way to the iconic Australian kangaroo. And as you can see, like most Aussies, they're pretty relaxed here. So don't forget to snap a selfie like Taylor Swift before you leave. Time to take a walk on the wild side. Looking around, you'll notice native Australian wildlife in an almost untouched environment. You'll meet its rangers and its residents. This is what it's about with potentially dangerous animals, is always remaining nice and still. You can gently put your flat hand under there and just support this area as well. If you freak out with the extra big snake like me, don't worry, there's other cute and cuddly creatures that the rangers are happy to introduce you to. Finally, high up in the hills of the Lamington National Park is O'Reilly's Rainforest Retreat. I arrived just in time to catch its daily wildlife encounter show with resident expert Mark, who introduced us to a range of reptile mammals. I could sit and listen to his stories all day long. Nicknamed the Birdman, Mark also offers a rare insight into these aerial predators in the Birds of Prey show. Afterwards, you even get to meet the stars. Just as we are now, that the show in many ways um, is moulded around this connection idea and it's something that we do, um, something we've found that we're losing. Luckily, not on the Gold Coast, thanks to all of these places. <laughs>